Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombie spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Oh, I'm so glad I got that. So happy I got that. I don't even care about not getting any bags. Like that's such a game changer. No more running around looking for advanced parts. Oh, I can make the water storage. I can make the greenhouse. I can get that NPC in. I can get a few NPCs in. Yeah, it's pretty much game over at this point. Unless something catastrophic happens and I lose that blueprint before I get it down. Funny thing is, I don't even remember any of the other blueprints I got other than the refrigerator. Because that blueprint pisses me off. Oh, I got the, uh, the bait arrow too, I think. Maybe a chemical lab. I got a couple of those now, I think. Just waiting for like something bad to happen here, like my base not being there anymore. That is the most elusive blueprint for me, that electric furnace. That's the first time I've seen it since, uh, well, obviously last season. It's been a long time. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just like my head spinning right now. Thinking about uh, what to do next here. But the first thing we're going to do is see what I need. I need three components in that furnace. I don't, I don't know if I have any other components on me. I'm going to run to my crate. Oh, I don't have the uh, solar array yet either for blueprint. What? Metallurgy 4. Oh, really? Oh my god. I gotta stand here and stare at logs getting burned, turned into charcoal. Oh no. Dang it. What do I need for steel crafting? Metallurgy 5. Oh, didn't I find a level 5 book? I did. I know I did. I don't think I have a level 4, but I know I got a level 5. Yeah, right there. So we'll take that. Level one, level one. Uh, what else do I have here? I do have steel crafting. I already have a refrigerator. That sucks. Um, I got the wind turbine, but I can't do anything with that until I get the solar array. I got water storage. I've already got that built. So yeah, I gotta get that. I gotta get that uh, skill up like right away here. Get this thing fired back up. Almost out of aluminum. Still got quite a bit of copper. And I might have enough glass to finish that greenhouse. If I counted right. What do I have here? No, I don't. Unless I already put some in there. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, so I'm off five. I thought, okay, so I didn't count right. Uh, yeah. And ten toolboxes. I don't have that. Unless I take these apart. Did these take toolboxes? I don't remember. I think they did. Anyway, I gotta focus here. Uh, yeah. Let's go over here. And, uh, how much room do I have? I'll just take some logs. Yeah, yeah I guess so. You guys don't have to, uh, sit through this <laughs> like I do, but I... I'm going to have this screen open for a little while. I'm going to make a bunch of charcoal and try to get my metallurgy skill up. Oh, I got some more iron in here. I'm just going to double check. So I got a metallurgy 5 book. I'm at about three and a half. That's going to take, I don't know how many. We can do two stacks. That should bring me there. Let's see where we're sitting here. No, I still need one more. Man. 
I guess I could have made some more ammo while I was doing this and maybe uh, some other things too. Yeah, let's have a look here. There we go. So it's pretty much exactly level four. I should be able to learn the uh, electric furnace now. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. There it is. Done. And I need Metallurgy 5 for this, but first I'm going to put the blueprint down. That's not it. There it is. Big ugly thing. Um, hmm. We'll take snapping off and see if I can sneak it in beside the furnace here. Or not too far from the furnace. Maybe not. Kind of out of room. I wonder if I should take that cooking station down. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. No, I need a area to run through there. I do believe I can run it out in the rain though, so maybe I'll take this bench down. Yeah, it's empty, so we'll get rid of this and we'll put it right out here. Yes, it's down, finally down. What do I need for this? 20 advanced parts. I don't have that many and I need the electric furnace to make steel to make advanced parts. Oh my God. Is this ever going to happen? Let's, uh, five toolboxes also. Let's have a look at how many steel I have. I think I had six. So plus I picked one up at the motel, I think. Uh, so what? That's 18. That'll make 18, but I don't have, hang on here. Oh yeah, I should be able to do this. Okay, so we'll drop those in there. So we got, we need seven. Grab, uh, no, I had everything with me, I think. No, I don't. So excited about this. I'm, I'm like kind of all over the place. Glad I set up the iron before I left. And this will be what I need seven, right? So I'll have to make three. Glad I had that steel on hand. So this should give me enough for the, cause I get three per three, six, nine insufficient materials. What am I missing? Silver. Oh my God. I, my heart dropped. I thought I, uh, did I not make any silver? I didn't have any silver made. That's really strange. Yeah. I haven't made any silver yet. I got to wait on that. I might start some ammo while that's cooking so let's have a look at my uh what should we call it there the uh the smg this one here so that uses nine mil i'm gonna make some nine mil i'm gonna i think i'm gonna want this with me the next time i go do a building like so i have something to fight in uh you know in a room in close quarters it'll be this one here so that'll that'll be nine mil we'll queue up some nine mil here that is like one of the most common ammo that you find in game and uh, I've barely found any, like any at all. I think I maybe found 10, 15 total. I think I picked some up from the, uh, the motel also from one of the vehicles maybe. So we'll go ahead and get this started. I need cartridge casing and gunpowder. And for cartridge casings, I think I need copper. I don't remember. It's been a little bit. Copper and aluminum. At least this is pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure this is a mechanic skill. Yeah, so I won't sit around for that. But I'll get that started at least. And there's one silver in it. See how my batteries are doing. I can go ahead and load this up. Oh yeah, I'm pretty excited. I got lots to do now. Look at it. Let's get a couple hours just to get that back up. Then I'll have to get some water here too. Actually, you know what? I won't need the water because... Oh, that didn't give me much. Try that again. Yeah, I won't waste the water. I'll uh, I'll drink the booze because I've got to learn the uh, Metallurgy 5. And I'll need that for mood. I'll just hold off on that because I'm going to want to make those advanced parts right away. There we go. Yeah, I'll probably fast forward this here for sure because this might take a little bit. Oh, I need one more read. Okay. There 
There we go, Metal G5. I'll take one more read of one of these magazines. There we go. Uh, silver, aluminum, and iron. Nine iron. Two silver. I have no iron left. Two silver, nine iron. Oh no, I need electrical wire too. Nine components and a crucible. Glad I got those. Have a little bit of wire. I'll have to make some more. Four more toolboxes. Boy, is this ever uh, hungry for supplies. I'm going to have to make quite a bit of wire. And i got to get some iron going too. That iron should have respawned in the uh, the ore field here because I did leave, so it should be back. Hopefully I can get nine out of here, I can. So that's perfect. Just a waiting game now. Uh, electrical wire. I don't think I have any, I don't think I picked anything up at the motel. I'm gonna check my bags here. Is we'll get my winter hat going. Good to minus 34, something seems off. It should be better than that, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wear, oh no, this isn't good. So if I do a bandit camp, it's gonna have to be right at the beginning of uh, winter or else I'm gonna freeze. I don't wanna do a bandit camp wearing uh, the, uh, the Christmas clothing. There's the steel crafting. I think I need iron for that, don't I? Yeah, one ironing it. And I'm gonna need some iron for the um, for the wire also. So I may as well head out and pick up some more iron. Steel ingots. I got three of those left. I may as well leave them in there. Casings, and we're going to need some ammo. Nine mil, right? I'll grab that gunpowder. I wonder where I put it. Maybe I put it thinking it was plastic. Maybe I threw it in here. I did too. Looks very similar. Start with that. Steel crafting done. Okay, let's have a look here. The t-shirt I'm gonna wanna keep. The shorts, I think I already have a pair.
So I got a little bit of iron in here. I was going to save it for the advanced parts, but I'll probably dump it into uh, into the electric furnace there to get it rolling here. Actually, I need wire, don't I? So we'll keep the copper and the aluminum in here. What do I need for ammo? I need gunpowder and cartridge case. Actually, I can use it. Okay, so I'm short now. Nine wire. And for that, I need copper and rubber. Rubber might be another thing that I'm going to be short on here. Oh, I got a little bit. I might have enough to make it, actually. I mean, it's going to be close, I think. I only need nine. And it's one for one. And that pretty much takes care of all the, the rubber. I could go to the industrial site and get uh, get some wire. But I, I'm, I don't want to. I'm going to make it. It's a huge resource hog, but... Look at the time on that. That's going to take forever. So yeah, I'm just waiting on that wire and this should be done. I should be able to make steel. And then once that's done, I can uh, finish this off. Do I need any wire for this? I don't think so. So I should be able to finish that. I got to make some more glass. And this guy down here is going to take 10 steel. And 5 wire. Oh boy, I don't think I have that wire. I might have to head out anyway. I might actually pause this. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to run out. I think I'm going to run out to the industrial facility. I have to. I don't think I have enough. Because I can make what? Uh, about 9 plus what two yeah i'm gonna have to figure this out i don't think i have it picking up lots of ammo though for the smg that's good we'll just get prepped to go here i want to make sure i have a water collection system down there so i'm gonna grab uh as i'll grab a stack of those sure don't have a lot of them either Let's see what i got for arrows uh, oh, I already threw him in here, didn't I? Probably use a little more. I don't really want to use the, uh, the rifle up at the, like, for zombies. I want to use it mainly for the, for the bandits and the bandit camps. Because that's where I'm really going to need the rifles. Maybe if I go into buildings, uh, that have alarms, I might have the rifle with me. But, uh, that industrial facility, I can take that out with a bow and arrow. So, that shouldn't be an issue at all. And it'll probably be winter by the time I finish up there. So I should make sure that I've got like all my winter clothing together. And I think I do. I might grab uh, that festive jacket. Just to save my butt in case I do get cold and start to freeze. Everything else looks okay here. Start making these into these uh, cloth repair kits. Fabric and simple parts for that guy. May as well get something to eat here too. Use up some of this canned food. Uh, I think I want a toolbox. I think I want to... I'm going to run out and grab some more iron, but I want to get a workbench built out there too. That way I can uh, make some iron tools while I'm out there.
Actually, I don't, I don't think I need the saltpeter. I, I know I didn't make enough glass, but I think I have, we're not saltpeter, but limestone. I do think I have enough limestone at home to finish off the greenhouse. Yeah, not a whole lot of iron here. That's too bad. Yeah, that's not very good at all. I think I have a toolbox with me. I think I'm right out. Might have to break a bench down. Oh, I do too. Okay, that's good. So I have three bags that are pretty much full, which uh, I wonder if I should just leave my weapon at home, make some room. See how those arrows are doing. Um, is that going to be enough? I do have a full pack, and I've got these with me. I mean, not a full pack, but a fairly full pack. And I got the rifle too, if I if I really need it. I should find fuel there. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna risk it and not bring any with me. I've got about 40 liters. It's quite a drive there. It's all the way down here in E1, E2. Uh, I'm just gonna go online and look at what this merchant trains, if it's, uh, or not trains, but sells. If it's gun oil, I might bring some tradables with me too. Well, we got a little bit of 9 mil now. That's nice to see. I think what I'll do now that I can make some steel. Well, I'm pretty close, but I'm going to go ahead and load that up. And uh, I got three steel bars in there. I may as well get three stacks of uh, advanced parts going. I don't have any silver. Never mind. There, and I should have some silver when I get back. I think I'm ready to go. I want to try to beat the winter here. I'm um, just trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Probably. But, uh, yeah, let's just get out of here. I don't know the fastest way there. Probably south. If I go south, I'll have to... I have to go cross country there too. Maybe I'll just go straight across and down. That's a long drive all the way around. Hopefully I find fuel there. I don't want to leave my car anywhere. Check my bags.
the uh, the place we're going to, the industrial facility, it should have tons of ground loot, like a whole bunch. It did last time. It should have a lot of rubber uh, wire weapons, you know, not rifles, but like uh, melee weapons so I can break them down. Fuel, batteries, solar panels. There's quite a bit of stuff there. Books. Maybe blueprints. I do need that oil extractor. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have grabbed uh, a little more fur. I think I have five with me. As long as I can kill a dog, I should be able to make three bows. I'm not overly worried about damaging my car either. Like I've got so many repair kits at home. I got one with me. I should be fine. So maybe if I follow the... No, not the tracks. I don't know what this is. This white line here. I don't know if that's a road or what. I'm going to try to hit it though. It looks like uh, railroad tracks. Oh, it's a back road, right? Because when I did this farm, there was a back road up here. Yeah, that's a pretty good straight shot to the facility. So I think I'll take this road. Honestly, I just want to be at home building right now, but I don't have enough material to get the uh, the proper facilities built yet. That looks a little rough. There's some deer here. So I think. Whoa, stay away from my car. Just gonna mark it because I'm I'd like to come back and get some of that meat. Or if I need food. Because I've been here before where I've run out of food. I think I have enough with me, but if I need food, I'll I'll know where to go. Rabbits and deer should get me fed. And there's a facility there, it's massive. We'll start on this corner over here because there aren't any zombies and quite a bit of searchable and ground loot available right here. So I can get a night, you know, get a taste for it before I actually run in there and have to engage. No, we'll do this. I think it's this corner. It's been a while since I've been here. I think I had a bed and everything set up right here. Most likely need a fire because I think I'm going to be cooking food. I do have the canned food though, so who knows. Lots of uh, saplings, lots of stone. Remember the last time I was here, I didn't have a problem finding what I needed to make arrows. There we go, we got a respawn point. Just going to have a quick look around here. I know... Um, yeah, I already see uh, a battery on the ground, an industrial battery, which is fantastic. Look at that. And there we go. We got three wire right, right off the hop. There's a ton of zombies in there, but I think this end is still clear unless there's some rubber too, which I really need. Um, but yeah, I think this end is clear. It was the last time I was here. I don't think it's been filled since. And I'll have to really keep an eye out for ground loot because there's quite a bit here and it's hard to see. Another piece of rubber. So yeah, we haven't even really gone into the facility yet. I already got three wire. I got a battery. I didn't really need it, but I have a good battery and some rubber and, and miscellaneous parts. 
Just gonna get this built. I, I think I had a water issue the last time I was here. Uh, this place did take me quite a while to clear out. I don't think it'll take me near as long this time, but I just want to be a little more prepared. And my hygiene too, right? I can use that water catchment to clean myself up. It's a bit of a process, but it works. I don't have to go through all my uh, the water I brought with me to get cleaned up. There we go, I think we got camp set up. That was fairly painless. And uh, we already got a little bit of loot. I'll probably bring a, one of the empty bags with me. It is a bit of a run in and out. Just gonna dump all my arrows in here. May as well eat up some of this jerky before it goes bad. I do believe I'm ready to go in. I'm curious on this. See if it's collected anything yet. Yeah, one and a half liters. That's pretty good. Just in case I gotta make some weird getaway, I'm gonna load all my bags up. Should be some ground loot around this silo here too. That's where it starts to get dangerous down in there. Ah, uh, maybe over here too. Yeah, the big buildings. What I think we'll hit first is this uh this part here, this is where all the books and stuff are. Put my bag in a safe spot where I can find it.
I did see a dog down here, but I did have to log in and out uh, for a few minutes there. So I think the spawn has reset. Gotta be careful. Because my antibodies are at like 57, so I, I gotta keep that in mind. I really want to get in there, but there's there's a ton of zombies down in there. Let's see what sort of attention I attract here. There's usually some to take care of around the corner here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a dog. I count one, two, three, four, five zombies also. Try not to waste too many arrows. Try to get them nice and close so I can recover. guys are a little far away I'm gonna hold off on those focusing on here because this is where all the good stuff is for the most part pretty uh pretty dense with loot I mean relatively speaking We'll just bring some traps over. I swear I dropped some logs here too. Not seeing them though. Maybe I use oh, they're right there. There they are. They all are, but this place is usually really dense with zombies, like in this part of the facility. I see some feet there. I think that's a workman. Oh, there's a cheerleader. I don't know how she saw me, but... I get a little bright here for a second or two while I wait for night to kick in. Yeah, that's bright. My shots are not great. A lot of arrows. I gotta remember that I, I shot a bunch down there. So I can try to recover them.
and my energy's already down to yellow. That's crazy. See a different pair of legs down there, so there's got to be a workman and another zombie. I'll go ahead and check this trailer here. I see tons of ground loot, like, everywhere. Some more rubber, which I really need. Yeah, I'm used to more zombies here, so if they're not here, they gotta be at another part of the, uh, the facility. Unless they just haven't spawned in yet, maybe? I don't know. See some steel here. Oh, and fuel. Perfect. What's my weight like? It's getting close. Some bookshelves. Something on the other side of the wall there, I think. Uh, more fish bait arrows. I hear it, I just don't see it. I don't know where he is. Some ammo. More ammo. And even more ammo. Good place to get trapped. I'm um, pretty full, I think. Mechanics 3 and Weapon 3. I don't need either one, but I'll, uh, I'll take them. I'm going to run back and get some sleep and uh, unload. See if I can... Uh, I know these guys are going to reposition if I leave, so I'll see if I can get rid of this guy here. Uh, maybe not. What the heck? Oh, I brought a bag with me. I don't have to leave. I forgot. I put a bag down here somewhere. Maybe I'll just build a second bed right here. That kind of food actually gave me some energy. I should be okay. Zombie right there. I see two more. One coming at me and then there's... Oh, nice shot. One right here. I just want my arrows. See if anything showed up around the corner. See another pistol on the ground. A lot of pistols this season. Some more wire, a little more steel. Uh, electrical component, which is great. more fuel so I went ahead and paid for my fuel easily 
for or paid for the trip down here. Whoa, hello. Mechanics. Getting, like, books I don't really want. Tailoring would be great. Lots of food, some more wire. Awesome. Oh, there's wire on the ground. I can't even see it. Metallurgy. I think I'm going to keep all the metallurgy books from now on. I do not want to burn up logs. Like, that takes forever to bring that skill up. Oh, look at all this stuff. I wonder if that's inside. Uh, crowbar. I'm going to be out of room here. That might have been on the floor on the inside. Or maybe not. Wow. Just about have that open all the time. When I clear out all the zombies, I think I'll do it once over. This is good for energy. That's perfect timing. And more wire on the ground. Not sure if I have... Uh, oh, that's a steel crowbar. I'm going to start breaking some of this down, I think. Hopefully I don't get attacked. Electrical. So much steel here. I really got to make a point of coming here, like, early, early game. Like, this is a great place to get a lot of material right off the bat. That's it. I think I'm full. My logs. Uh, some more wire on the ground I would have missed. And I think we're pretty much full. We're going to have to go back. So that means the zombies will reposition. Yeah, I'm pretty full. Which isn't good either because I've barely done any of this uh, facility. And, and I, I got quite a bit more to go here. Almost a full tank. That's awesome. Try to get all my stackables into one area. Or one container, like the workbench. back we may as well fill up on energy that'll be it for this video and you know what to do to show your support appreciate all the comments thanks for watching